some say the Diamondback DBX 5.7 pistol is nothing but a fun range toy. But that's just partially true. It's a ton of fun. But in my experience, that little 5.7mm round can be potent. And I'll tell you a story about that in a minute. I'm Jonathan of Special Hunting, Weapons, and Tactics. And this is a special weapon. It seems like you can buy an AR type firearm in almost any caliber now. And that's cool. It gives you lots of options. But not all calibers need the same geometry, the same weight, the same size. What would you do if you could build a firearm dedicated to this little 5.7 round? Would you build it smaller? Would you build it lighter? Here's a Daniel Defense DDM4. And here's a CMMG Banshee pistol in 9mm. Both great platforms. And here's the Diamondback DBX 5.7 in its basic configuration with no brace. Take a look at the comparison. The DBX is only 3 pounds and thinner than an AR pattern gun. Since Diamondback sent Schwatt this pistol with no strings attached and no ability to influence the video, they haven't seen this before you do, we set it up the way we wanted. Starting with a Gearhead Works tail hook brace, we added a Trigicon RMR sight and a Silencer Co. Sparrow can. Since it's not an AR, its operation is different. That'll be a con to some, but it really doesn't matter to me. A reversible side charging handle is a very obvious difference. The DBX uses FN57 pistol mags, and the mag release is in a familiar place, but functions differently than on an AR. The bolt catch will remind you of your favorite striker-fired handguns instead of an AR. The dual gas system is adjustable. Diamondback ships the DBX 5.7 with a good looking muzzle device, but this gun just begs for a silencer. So there are a number of departures from the AR design, but there are a number of similarities as well. A couple of familiar pins connect the lower to the upper. The standard AR selector and trigger are part of the package, which begs the question, should we upgrade the trigger? Should we upgrade the selector? Let us know in the comments below. You can easily swap out the Magpul K-Grip. And while it's not an AR compatible handguard, it does give you M-lock slots for accessories. And of course, there's a top Picatinny rail as well. So all that said, is it fun to shoot? Well, we ran our DBX 5.7 with a couple of different ammo options. First up was the FN 5.7x28 SS197SR. It's great 40 grain ammo, worked perfectly whether we had the silencer on or off, regardless of the gas settings. Then we also ran the Federal American Eagle 5.7x28mm, again 40 grain, and again, it just ran great. Can, no can, didn't matter. Is it practical for defensive or hunting use? Well, it's super compact, it's lightweight, it deploys quickly. I'll leave the caliber wars to others, but years ago I took down wild hogs with a little 5.7 caliber using elite ammunition. Draw your own conclusions. So there you go, that's our take on the little Diamondbacks DBX 5.7. Why would you want one? Why would you not? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this kind of content, be sure and hit the thumbs up, give us a like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, visit us at schwat.com.